Welcome to the beginning of section 7.8 on joint cumulative distribution functions. The goal of this section is to define the joint cumulative distribution function for two random variables, to learn its properties, and to use it to calculate probabilities. Definition 7.8.1 If x and y are jointly distributed, discrete or continuous random variables, then the joint cumulative distribution function for, f, uh, for x and y is f of xy, and that is the probability that x is less than or equal to little x and y is less than or equal to little y. And just a remark, if you compare this to the definition of the CDF for a single variable f, x, f sub x of x was exactly the same thing, but just for one variable, the probability that x is less than or equal to little x. Example 7.8.1. Suppose that x and y have joint PMF given by the following table. And let's let f of xy be their joint cumulative distribution function. We're asked to find f of 2, 3. So f of 2, 3, well, f of 2, 3 is exactly by this definition above the probability that x is less than or equal to 2 and that y is less than or equal to 3. And so if we look in the table, y values go up to 4, so we're talking about less than or equal to 3, 3 and down x values go up to 2, so we're talking about, no, go, go up to 3, but we're talking about 2 and down, and so we're talking about this part of the table here that has values where x is less than or equal to 2 and y is less than or equal to 3. So we can just add up all these values. But what I'm going to do is show you a little graphically what this looks like in the plane, because that is something that is nice whether we are talking about continuous or discrete variables, right? If we're talking about continuous variables, then we don't have a table to draw in, but we do have the plane. So if x takes values of 1, 2, and 3, and y can be 1, 2, 3, or 4, then these probabilities for discrete variables, they're represented as point probabilities or point masses. So we've got these points where x is 1 and y is each of 1, 2, 3, and 4, same thing at 2 and same thing at 3. And so if we're looking for the probabilities where f, uh, where x is, I keep wanting to say f for x, x is less than or equal to 2 and y is less than or equal to 3, then we're looking at values that are below this line y is equal to 3. I wanted that in blue. Below this line y is equal to 3, that's this line and to the left of the line where x is equal to 2. And so we are looking for parts of the, the everything in the plane that's either on these two lines or to the left of them. So everything that falls in sort of this part of the plane down here. And that'll be super nice for the next video when we look at some properties involving the joint CDF. So we want all of these values here and we want to add them up and those of course are exactly the same values that appear in our table. So if we're going to write this formally then f of 2, 3 is the sum from i is equal to 1 to 2, those are the x values, the sum from j is equal to 1 to 3 of p of i j which means exactly we're going to add up p of 1, 1 plus p of 1, 2, plus all the way up till we get to this last value here, which is going to be p of 2, 3. In other words, we're adding 0 0.02 plus 0 0.03 plus all the way through this table until we get to that last value of 0 0.09. And if you add all of those up, you should get 0 0.34. So in the next video, we'll take a closer look at some properties of the joint cumulative distribution function that will be true regardless of the whether the uh, variables involved are discrete or continuous. See you then.